Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are restarting Animal Crossing from the very beginning all over again. I've just deleted my save data, which is always so nerve wracking. Even though I had done the dream address, we'd done the final, like this is it, I'm gonna do it, I told you about it. I've been really excited about this. I've been kind of like prepared and waiting for the right time to like set aside a few days to really like do this. I still had that moment of, oh. ah, but it's all for this. It's all for this opening sequence and starting all over again. Ah. Good afternoon, we're so excited to have you here. Have you here? Oh, right, I'm gonna just move me. Let's move me down here just to get me out of the way. Oh, it's so exciting to start Animal Crossing again. It's my very favorite. Let us be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure. Welcome to the check-in counter for your deserted island getaway package. So much to look forward to, but first, let us introduce ourselves. I'm Timmy with Nook Inc. And I'm Tommy. Oh, is there a better beginning of a game? I don't think so. And I'm going to try and just kind of like go with the flow with this. I feel differently about the villagers, but like... I would like an orange airport and I would like peaches. I don't know if those things are possible, but I would like those things. I think I, mm, I could say I feel like, I feel like I must feel, feel more strongly about. Oh, do you know what? I'm just gonna Google. Oh, okay, let's do this first. Let's do this first. I'm gonna give myself my actual name because one of the reasons that I decided to restart the Christmas Island was as one of you said, I was going to be stuck as Mrs. Claus, which I didn't really want to be. And I'm going to give myself my real birthday. Obviously, I'll be 21 on my next birthday, for anyone wondering. Wouldn't it be amazing if, like, you have a really significant birthday and you put in the actual year that you were born and they knew! And they were like, oh my god, you're too old to be playing this game. <laughs> Never too old, especially cozy gaming. The style I always struggle with. I don't enjoy, right, well, I'll stick with that. I feel like I usually go with that and their hair is limited. So let's go, Ooh. I'm also gonna have to get used to the controllers again because they're so different to like I'm usually playing Stardew and then I flip to Animal Crossing and I'm like, oh, everything's different. Um, they're cute. I like those pretty eyes. I'm going to do the little button nose, a little bit less smiley and a little blush. I like it. I like it. I also remember it being a thing from the last time I did this that some people, me included, think that the colour of the outfit you are given at this stage, which is random, equates to the colour of the, come on, airport that you get on your island. And she's wearing green shoes. Let me just check. Animal Crossing, airport colours, like what that actually equates to in terms of the things that you can get. I know that when you get further down the line that you can customise and you can change things. But let's just see... Because I would like the orange airport, like, just because I like the look of the orange airport. But I just, let me just double check that that means the coloured things that I like. Because, you know, I probably should take that into consideration. Um, okay, okay. You know, I think I'm okay with that. I think I'm okay with most of that. I quite like the yellow airport stuff. But if I could pick, I'm going to give myself three chances so let's say this is green it's not the end of the world green is kind of quite inoffensive and it goes with everything it just like goes with the landscape doesn't it green and blue blue would probably be okay as well let me just look at what blue is blue yeah the things for blue are okay uh yeah we'll see we'll see we'll see i'm trying to be chill <laughs> I'm trying to be chill about this new thing that i'm i've put too much into already yes i definitely want seasons yeah 100 percent. i want my current seasons also i'm geography is not my strong strong tool is europe 
the only place in the northern hemisphere. <laughs> why does it why does it split it that way? So this part I'm not too bothered about. I don't have a specific idea of anything that I want. Um <laughs> She says, she says, I don't have an idea of what I want, but I maybe would like a bit of a peninsula. A bit of a like dock thing towards the side would be cute. Okay. Ooh, do you know, I know that it doesn't mean anything because we can terraform later. But that one that's selected right now is very appealing. You know that like, it's so symmetrical. That is very appealing. And much easier to get around once you've got one bamboo pole or the swimsuit because it's kind of once you've got over one you can get around everything hmm okay let's just look at the additional things that maybe i couldn't change like where the secret beach is i also like that the resident services although it's not central to the airport is like pretty much bang smack in the middle of the thing but then it's so close to the front that that's going to be an issue it's going to be annoying that it's not central to the airport then this one is quite central to the airport but i just don't think that it exists you know like one that is perfectly in line i don't think that exists before we get into terraforming this is really appealing because the uniform, I'm trying to make it, I'm trying to stick with as much natural interest as I can. I don't want to terraform everything flat. I want to keep it kind of looking a little bit like it was, but just maybe neaten some things up and make things a bit easier. But this gives me a lot of land to work with before terraforming to make like a little neighborhood in that front section. That little... It's giving me kind of, it's giving me a lot of land that I can access pre, like early days. I think I'm going to go with that one. I think that is my choice. Oh, it has got the little dock and it's got the little dock on the right hand side. I'm not, none of them have got any like particularly interesting, oh, that one's got a little peninsula, hasn't it? No, I, oh, that one has as well in the top left. Have they all? They all have. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm liking this one. This is, I'm going to go with this one. Maybe we'll just accept the airport that we get. I just really would like it not to be green, but. Also this, people have wondered whether or not, I'm going to say sleeping bag. People have wondered whether or not the question of like, what would you take on a desert island means anything to what you actually get when you arrive, as in the color of your airport, the fruit that you get. I don't think so. I think that's totally random. Oh, I remember in 2020, I bought this game for my son who really wasn't interested. And I was like, this is amazing. I think I was on furlough actually when I bought this game. I, I had three weeks of furlough in which I was stressing the f out because i was like i'm not gonna have a job this is awful why did they furlough me nobody likes me an animal crossing was there oh man also i never finished my um museum okay we're gonna be traveling overhead any minute now Will we have peaches? That is, I bet I've got pears. It's my least favourite. I bet it's pears. Pears! What did I tell you? Okay, well if it's pears then it better be an orange airport. If it's pears in a green airport, we might be restarting this. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Pears, a green airport, they are the ugliest villagers I've ever seen in my life. Do over. Also, what did I tell you about the green shoes? green shoes and we got a green fruit and a green airport there's something to it moment of truth now what color are the shoes oh my god the color of the shoes i'm not playing around with green it's times like this that i really resent having a long name having to write it again and again 
on a keypad. Ooh, okay. She's wearing blue shoes. So we'll give it a go. See what's what. We will be getting rid of... Oh, do you know what? I didn't even change the eye colour last time. I think it just must have been brown already. Or I just didn't notice. Right, let's stick with that. That's fine. Blue airport, we will consider. Also, isn't North America in the Northern Hemisphere as well? Like, I just don't get the initial Europe question because Nintendo is not a European con co country? Company is, I think, where I'm confused. Presumably, Animal Crossing is not from a European developer, right? Oh, I've just realised that that means we're going to lose what was, in my mind, the most perfect map. Um, ugh, these aren't as good, but, you know, we'll we'll make our piece. Resident service is really, really close to the front in all of them, which is not a vibe. Not a vibe, but okay. Um, not a vibe. For the sake of argument, I'll pick something different, but I really don't think that makes a difference. Is this, like, does the game actually know where I'm based? So is it asking me if I'm in Europe because it knows I'm in Europe? Is that what it is? People elsewhere in the world ask you the same question. Apples. Okay, I can live with apples. Green. Ooh, is that yellow or orange? Is that yellow or orange? Ooh, this is exciting. That feels at least different, right? Okay. I wonder if like the facial things that you do, I wonder if it's just literally the roll of the dice and none of these things mean anything. Oh, we've got a good one again. We've got that one. I quite like that. Um, mm, I just like that it's kind of like nestled away in a little corner of a river, you know? I like that. Okay, well, we'll go without even looking at any other part of it. Let's just run with it because we may be restarting again. Is that a good sign for the airport? Because the first one was pears and green airport and I did not think that they would ever match. <gasps> An orange airport! Okay, I don't like that. I don't like that. Whatever that ram looking villager is, it's not my fave, but we've got an orange airport. Going with it. Okay, who are you? Coach. Okay, and oh no. Right, so I didn't hate the cat, but the cat's like got mean eyes. The cat, neither of these villages are staying at all. All right, is that everyone? Let's see, let's meet the infamous Mr. Nook, founder and president of Nook Inc. Today is your first day of your new life on this pristine, lovely island. So congratulations, this is a package deal. As such, Nook Inc. staff will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety. First things first, I'd like each of you to choose a spot of your own. It's the first step to putting down some real roots. Mm, right, where's everybody gonna live? I don't even know. Okay, we need to have a little recce of the area, I think. Okay, so this is, resident services is like, in this corner cool good to know then i kind of feel like here's where i want the neighborhood the three houses will kind of be in a row here i'm thinking like long term we will have a museum and we will have the able sisters maybe i should leave these three spaces directly next to nook's cranny not nook's cranny uh, directly next to resident services. Maybe I should leave those for them. And so in that case, we do a little further down here as our situation. Hmm. Maybe. I'm just going to collect some stuff. Can I? Oh, I can't pick things up yet. Unless I'm not remembering controls. No, I can't. Can I shake trees? I can but I can't pick up the oranges. That's annoying. Why? I wanted to collect some things before it all gets like destroyed. Because when I put down the tents, we're gonna lose stuff. 
Right, maybe we do the neighborhood directly in front of resident services. I want to be close to the nooks, cranny, like early game. So we want to kind of be up here, don't we? Hmm. But also maybe we do the museum. Like, I like the museum to be like out of the way. Maybe we do the museum here, like kind of, we have to come down to it and then we'll do the neighborhood up there. I know these things can move, but it's such a faff. It'd be nice to have things at least a little bit placed where I want them to be. I'm so indecisive. This is ridiculous. We come, I'm so happy with my orange airport. We come up from the airport. Let's see where this leads us to. Ooh. Perfectly central to that, which won't be central to resident services entrance, but perfectly central to the tent. Love that. Um, hmm. Well, maybe we do like a little beach side. Or maybe everyone's tents just go on the beach. Because I also don't want to destroy the resources. This is stupid. Right. I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm just going to put them here. I'm going to put the tents right next to resident services. Resources be damned, and then the other people can go in the front. I would like to do kind of a little thing around each person's house this time. I wanted to do this in my original one where I did kind of like a garden area, maybe like a fenced off area around each house with some items that reminded me about the character of the person. So you know like when you find things and it's like whose item might this be it'll just kind of have in my memory oh that's that person's house and they like these kinds of things and I'll kind of have a more well-rounded idea of who each of the, the people are each of the villagers so I want to need enough space for that um which I mean I don't need like loads of space for mine because I know who I am so maybe that's enough let's just reconsider how much space do I have here oh I have more space than I thought okay I'll do it I'll, I'll give myself just a touch more space than that I set up my tent that's my first big step right so now if we go ahead and chat with the other guys I do believe they may be in need of some assistance I'm still trying to find the perfect spot I'll be doing some serious cardio so it's got to have a lot of fresh air I think this little spot will do the trick. No, absolutely not. I will find you a spot and it's going to be perfectly in line with my tent. Your trust in me is unfounded. Um, oh, and he just ran off like, woohoo! Like, and now I can go and play. Um, right, so I've now got to try and get this kind of in line, but also with enough space. This is where having a spade is really great to try and make things see but now I don't know I think that's too far back no we need to rethink I think that's a little bit further back than my tent let's try here is it gonna show it I think that's is that right I think that's good oh it's off it's off we make peace. Maybe to like offset it, I should do the other one back up. So annoying. Oh my God. Is it Cat from Red Dwarf? Totally, totally based on Cat from Red Dwarf. So do we think in line? I know you can't hear me to answer, but mm, it's gonna really bother me. It's gonna really bother me. But then my house is gonna end up being bigger than everybody else's anyway. So maybe mine can be a little bit offset and the theirs can be in line. It's not this big of a deal anyway. It's just a game. This is why I like to dig the holes. And then I think that is going to be in line with mine. So let's just see space-wise. If I've got the right amount of space between them. Okay, we will. We will. Oh, no, I wanted to go in. Oh, not even let me measure the space between the tents. Throwing an island warming party. Right, so hopefully now I'll actually be able to collect some things from the ground. And this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. If you've never played this game before, the burden is firmly on your shoulders. They ask nothing. Look, he's like sweeping the dirt. They ask nothing of anyone apart from you. 
just wanted to go over what we'll need for the campfire. Just me. It's just me that's doing this apparently. And everyone else is just wandering around pretending to be doing things. Fuck. Ten tree branches. And then he's going to investigate the orange-like items. Which, in the meantime, I will just collect. And then I'll bring them back and he'll be like, Oh wow, I didn't even mean for you to do that. Even though the hints were heavy. So I will collect the oranges in advance. Let's not waste any time. I will collect the tree branches and we will have a grand old celebration. Oh, that's less. Now we can. Let's just look. <gasps> okay. So, yes, I have very much. I've basically placed the blue one wrong, but I think space wise, I think there's the same amount of space between the tents. It's hard to know because my tent is different, but I think there's the same amount of space between the tents. Maybe I can like style it out as it's supposed to be a bit higgledy piggledy. I'm gonna go for a more natural look with this island anyway. Ooh, and I can collect the weeds now too. Excellent. Um, I wanna make sure I collect the oranges because if you don't collect the oranges, then they won't grow again as soon as possible. And whatever you can get, all of the resources on the island are important to gather in the game. Especially because we're going to be no time travel. I may time travel if it's, if I'm like concurrently playing a few days for um, the channel. But I'm not going to time travel like back and forth or to make things happen faster. Once I've done that, I'll kind of put myself back to where I was. It'll only be for recording that I'll time travel and then I'll kind of go back just to make sure that I don't miss any days while I'm working and doing adult life things. Timmy or Tommy appears to be deep in thought. After you've gathered up 10 tree branches, please talk to our boss, Mr. Nook. What are you thinking about then? Okay, so we've got the tree branches. Ta-da. Uh, and then, I'm quite glad I'll be sharing this desolate island with such a hard worker. Worker? Uh, yeah, I'm not surprised, honestly, Tom, because as the game progresses, you are going to prove yourself to be a real lazy article, to be honest. Um, I was evaluating the fruit. How were you doing that? That seems to be abundant here, and they look like oranges. They smell like oranges. They even taste like oranges. Good evaluation. In fact, they're 100%, without a doubt, genuine oranges, so we'll need six. Oh, what's this? You've already collected enough oranges for everyone, haven't you? Yes, I have. I knew you were the right one for the job. Again, I feel a little bit mugged off in general. I feel like I was targeted to be brought to this island just to work for Tom Nook and then be given an enormous bill out of nowhere. Literally no, no contract signed, but now I'm on the desert island. What am I going to do? And it's a party. What should we call the island? I had completely forgot about this. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Should have thought more about this. Do you know, I don't know if this is gonna be too many letters is the problem. This is mostly the problem with this, is that it's such a short amount of letters. Whenever I have one that I like, it's too many. Mystic was my original island, and then I had new Mystic. And then on Stardew, I often use Mystic Falls. No, you see, I was going to do Mystic Hollow um, and Stars Hollow. Maybe I'll do Mystic again. I like Mystic. I think I'm going to do Mystic. Yes. I do wish, though, at this point, you know when they all shout out the island names? Because really, maybe you don't know what you want to call it and one of those names you might prefer it i feel like at this point you should be able to choose one of the ones that were said by everyone you know like one of those crazy names that they just shouted out maybe you wanted the one that cat said maybe you were like oh that's actually a great name too late to restart now i've come too far oh here we go i hereby name you the resident representative of mystic and here's how it begins you see it's i get you they give you a throwaway title just nonsense and they've got you that's how they do it in every workplace they give you a vanity name a vanity title 
and more work with no additional pay. A toast to Mystic and the happiness of its residents. Cheers. Cheers. Everyone's having a great time. Um, I feel like I should talk to Tom Nook before I go to the tent, maybe? Okay. I saw someone say that if you didn't open these, you could use them as decoration, and I love that. So I'm not gonna open them either. Uh, but I am gonna put the, where did the camping cot down? Oh, there's that. I'm gonna put that down if it allows me to. Take a little nap, and then we should be in line with the real lifetime. Oh. Looks like you've decided to make your own way in the world. Get out there and explore new frontiers. That's all the way right, Daddy-o. You don't live, need to live by anyone's rules but your own. The world was made for exploring, you know. Living free, being out there, it's a totally great feeling. Yeah, but take it from a cat who's been on the road. Being on your lonesome can grind on the soul. You've got to make friends along the way. Rambling this crazy world is Squaresville without some pals. Yeah, man. Friends are where it's at. Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself. My bad. Maybe it's about time for you to wake up to your new life. Oh, but listen up. That rap I just gave you about friends is pretty key. You'll dig the island life a whole lot more if you share it with some friends, if that's your scene. An island paradise with your best pals sounds pretty groovy to me. Cool. When you wake up, be in sync with real time. Dig that island life and I'll catch you later. KK, KK. Um, I don't know whether or not that was in insisting that you online play with friends in real life or like make friends on the island. I don't know. Difficult to say. Oh, are you in there? I hope I haven't woken you abruptly. I wish to discuss something with you. I'll be here when you're ready. I honestly thought he was just going to like enter my tent without knocking, without warning. And it's daytime. <laughs> It's a brand new day. I, I always need a start. Oh, okay. So now we're going to get our nook phone. Our, like, basics. We've already got our map. Um, and he's going to show us how to use everything, which... We're, we're cool. And now we get the bill. He just gifted me a phone and then added it to the bill. 49,800 bells. And you know what? I would have rather paid this in bells. It would have been so much easier to pay this in bells. But he's going to let us pay it in air miles. Which, how do I have so many air miles? I don't have a lot of air miles at all. It's much harder to earn air miles than bells. Ah, oh, my new life is underway. I can do whatever I want. Okay, let's see what we have. Okay, yeah, cool. We are in real time, which is... Two minutes past three on a Sunday, August the 11th. Um, let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got. Paradise planning photo. Congratulations on the new move. Exciting, exciting. Okay, so let's see. Oh no, I've got to, I've got to get used to the controls again. How, where is everything? I want to see. Here we go. Let's see how many nook miles we've got. I wasn't really paying attention, so I can't remember how many miles we need to pay. But there's 500 right there. Okay. So let's see. Actually, that's what I was going to do. No, not that button. I was going to see what else we can do to gain miles. We've got the bug. Island togetherness. Um, flowers. Island shutter bug. We can take a picture. What's that one? Edit the passport. Bulletin board. Right, let's do those ones quick. <coughs> While I remember. It's going right on the bulletin board. I didn't mean that, but let's go for it. I meant to put hi. That'll do. Uh, then we'll do... Oh, Shutterbug. Where's the camera? And there's a picture. And edit my passport. Where do I edit my passport? Here... Comment. Uh, living the dream. Right, let's see what that got us for Nook Miles. Right, 
we're at 1,400. Was it 5,000 miles we needed? As you can see, it's quite cosy in here. Funny how cosy doesn't always mean comfortable. <laughs> oh, we can end bells pretty quick. Oh, and he sells things really early on, and I didn't think I know this. I did not know that you could buy things from him at this stage, I remember. Okay, so it's really... Oh no, he does sell more things! Does he sell, does he sell? No, okay. Just for a second there. Oh, we've got slingshot though. I, just for a second there, I thought we could buy the swimsuit. I am gonna sell some things. I wanna sell some things, let me. I wanna sell. Everything I have. I'm definitely gonna buy, oh, that's a lot. See what I mean? I feel like a little bit of foraging and we could have paid that bill so much quicker than air miles. Oh, okay. We need to do the DIY workshop first. Fine. 5,000 miles. Okay, that's fine. So let's do the DIY workshop. It's like, let's let's put you down for the next available workshop, which is now because we're on a desert island and there's six people. We are making a fishing rod and I have a feeling this is how we're gonna get some more emails. So we've got our first DIY recipes. Then I'm gonna spend some bells on the slingshot recipe and the extended DIY recipes from Timmy or Tommy. Okay, slingshot. I'm hoping that that is not the same recipes that I've just got for free. I feel like he would have said like, you've already got this, right? Yeah, he's just said enjoy even more. Okay, 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 okay. Right, so let's just have a look at what recipes we've actually got now because now if I collect some more resources, we can make some things. Um, oh, it's like rubbish stuff. Nothing useful, not like a spade or anything. So we've got the flimsy net. Uh, we didn't need these. We're gonna get these later. That was a waste of money. Um, but we have got the fishing rod. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Well, let's just see if there's anything in here. Recycle box for all the island residents to use. We'll be using it for items removed during construction and such. So really there should be some wood in there. From like the trees that we had to get rid of. There's a little bit. And there's a cardboard box. I'll take it. What have I got on my person now? Okay, some things. We're fine. Um... Right, so... Can I just collect that now? Yes, I can. I'm disappointed that I couldn't... make a... anything else. Make any more... things. Also, yesterday, there was like an outdoor thing. An outdoor, like a... You know, like the log thing that you can craft. What's it called? A workbench. You know, like the log workbench. There was one of those outside yesterday. Where did that go? Why would they have got rid of that? That makes no sense at all. Yeah, let's have a look. What else I can make? I think maybe I could make... Wait, hang on. Oh, I haven't learned it. It's in here. Ooh, I think we've got some nook miles for that. So let's craft that. I think I might have the stuff for it. I don't. We need hardwood. That was a poor purchase. Okay. Presumably I can't make this either. I haven't got enough tree branches. Fine. Let's access this. I feel like this might be Nook Miles to access this for the first time. Welcome to Nook Stop, a multimedia terminal for Nook Inc. Once per day, 50 bonus miles. Okay, so that's some free miles. Excellent, excellent. We don't need to do anything. Just wanted to get those bonus miles. Determined to pay off that bill today. I've seen a few bugs around, so I really need to get that net. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, I also forgot about wasps. Lucky that I have not yet. Ooh. It's like Russian roulette. Um, okay, well now I know there's no wasp in there. Let's just go for it on that tree. We just need three more. There we go. Oh, we only needed five anyway. I think I only need probably like one more. Well, whatever, okay. Um, do you know what? Oh. I thought we'd not left yet. So do you know while we're here? Nah, never mind, never mind. Let's get out and get some bugs and some fish and some nook miles. Not great at this. Oh, there he is. 
Gone forever. There were loads of butterflies and stuff out when I didn't have a net. Now, oh, he's got the same idea as me. Ooh, there's one. That's a little bit far away to be creeping from, but I think there. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yay, we've got our first. I felt like it should have been like more of a fanfare for our very first. Oh, no. It's these like jumping ones. I'm rubbish at getting them. Okay, we've got two. Technically two, but well, we could get a third, but it's going to be like a, a duplicate. Oh, he, he, he flew right away. Can we get her? She's a little... I'm on a roll. I'm trying to pick things up as I go, you know, like weeds. Rather than in one huge thing, do loads of weeds, because it's a lot. It's a lot. I'm trying to kind of collect them as I go in bits. Try and do a fish. Oh! And it's a can. First fish that I caught was a can. One of the tips that I saw about fishing was that it was easier to do with your eyes closed because your senses, like you're not good. I, I know you can switch between, but I can never do it. I'm not good under like, like, oh, quick, do this. I'm not like, I can't, I can't work that way. I have to do it like methodically. Uh, yeah, one of the things was something to do with your senses, like you're here and you can act quicker than you you can see. So when I fish and I can play with the sound on, which to be fair is not, why, why don't you just do it? She's not often, because I'm usually on the sofa when I'm playing. I close my eyes and listen. And I feel like I can get it more because you see it come and you sometimes overshoot it. Why am I getting so many cans? I feel like I'm being punked. Is this normal? I don't think I got cans on my first attempt at fishing before. Okay, finally a fish. My skills are sharp. Not that sharp. First two things were not fish. Ooh, that's a beastie looking thing. Oh no, I should have crept up to it. I just got excited. I'm annoyed that we haven't got any miles from any of this catching yet. Although some of those catches weren't actually fish, I suppose. Ah, it's a cute little rainbow fish. Ooh, swap it, swap it with something. Can we swap it with something? Yeah, let's swap it with a can. Right, so we've also got quite a few things at the moment. Oh, I could have got that. Ooh, there's small things, there's small things on here. Let's just drop some more stuff. So, I know that Mr. Nook said that he wanted me to... Ah! I was too close to the tree. He wanted me to tell him when he'd got some flora and fauna because he's very interested and you need to get a certain amount of these things because he's going to send them off to his friend Blathers and Blathers will put a museum on the island. Or well, not a museum, but I think he kind of like sets up his tent at first. Um, so maybe this is around the time I could go and take some of this stuff to Tom Nook. I think I've got enough stuff for that. So many creatures. I don't know how many creatures we need. I feel like it's uh, eight or 10 maybe, but we'll have to be, I don't know if it has to be individually like unique. I don't think it does have to be unique. Yes, an old friend of mine runs a museum and I'd love to send him a closer look uh, or it to him for a closer look. Would you be okay with that? Yes, I very much would. I really love the theming of this tent. I wish some of this stuff was available to buy because like the thing in the background, the crate, the upturned crate with a bit of wood on it to make it into a table. Love, love that. All the stuff that's behind us like is technically available, but separately and you can't make it stack. Ooh, so the second creature that I gave him, he gave me a DIY recipe. Maybe this is finally gonna be the spade. It's not, it's not. I think Blathers gives us the spade. So maybe this is gonna be to chop down the trees. An axe, yes! An axe is the word I was looking for. Okay, that's super useful. Oh, so we do need to have unique. He doesn't want the same ones. Good to know, good to know. I do have quite a few duplicates, but still. We gave me a proper award. What have we got? Red mums! Oh, that's good, that's good, because we can get some more nut miles by planting flowers. And on the fourth donation he gave me, 
The watering can DIY. Well, that makes sense. On the fifth creature I gave, Tom Nook got a call. Yes, Blathers is coming to the island. I thought it was going to be way more than five. That was my friend Blathers, the one who curates the museum. Believe it or not, he's going to come to the island to help us identify and preserve the local creatures. But I could use your help. Oh, I'm going to have to put down his tent. First, I'm going to go and plant those flowers. I'm going to plant them next to my house because they're my flowers. And why would I not plant them next to my house? Because they're my flowers. Beautiful, beautiful thing. Uh, let's see what we've got for Nook Miles right now that we have not yet claimed. Any more for any more? No. Oh! Got some flowers! We are... Really getting there. I think once I make some more DIYs. Oh, is that all everything? Is that all of the unclaimed miles? Okay, okay, okay. Well, we're on a we're on our way. I'm feeling good about being able to get the bill paid off today. So I kind of want to put Blather's tent out of the way a little bit. Eventually, I'll put it like way off in the corner somewhere. Maybe I should put Blather's tent on the sand because I'm never going to have it anywhere that I place it now. I don't think, anyway. I mean, some, I don't know why. I don't know why. Something is drawing me to this far left corner to put it here. And I don't know why. I don't, don't ask me why. I don't know why. I don't know why. But I also don't want to get rid of this rock so early on and I don't want to place it too close to this and so I'm not going to do that I'm going to go against my instincts and not do that maybe and this is not a big enough space oh this game makes me sleepy it's the music right do you think I'm going to fit here no no there's not really enough beach space put it there it's not knocking anything down right let's put it here for now and then it can be moved later okay well we are losing one tree but whatever perfect now what I probably should do is go around and shake all the trees and then try and catch the wasps because the wasps are valuable. Ooh. Run, little girl, run! <laughs> Get it. Yes! Caught a wasp. Um, that didn't last long. But look what we got. Oh, do you know what as well? I should probably let myself be stung. I bet that's Miles. Bet that's Miles. Let's get some more sticks to make things with. And if I get stung, I get stung. Because I'm pretty sure that's Miles. Oh. And I've been brought in. Oh, okay. I came through to make some more tools. And I was like, oh, we're going to have a little cutscene situation. Not quite, but you know. So we placed Blather's tent. I'd already forgotten we'd done that. Hmm. He said he's got some tips to how as how to as to how to rack up nook miles quickly. I feel like I, I know enough, to be honest, Tom. I feel like any tips you're gonna give me might be a little bit meh, to be honest. Um, right, I definitely need the axe. What what happened to the stone? I had a stone. I had a stone. Did I drop it somewhere? Because I had a stone. And this is reminding me that job one, when I get an axe, is to go to the stones. To get more stones to make more axes. 
There we go. Because Trash Tools was one of the air miles that I just claimed. One of the Nook miles that I just claimed. And so if we can trash some more tools, I think we'll probably get some more. Hmm, okay. We've got a lot of these hanging around. So I'm going to place these. Can I stack them on top of each other? Because when the bug collector guy comes, he will give me top dollar for them. And I do not want to waste that opportunity. So I'm going to hold on to them and get as much money as possible. For the ones that I can't give to Blathers when he arrives anyway. Right, let's get rid of those. And then get... Chop it away at these trees. We'll get some more stone first, just to be safe, just to be safe. Oh, it's a money rock, immediately. It's like, that's like good and bad, because really what I needed was stone. And it, once again, could have more easily just fished and fished and fished and paid off my money this way. Definitely. Oh, I don't know if I've had that one already. Let's... Now we have another net. Let's try for this one. My depth perception is not good. Not a lot of stone. Like, iron is great, but I did still need more stone than that to make more axes. Hilariously, later in the game, I don't want stone, I want iron. Now I want the stone. Okay, I think we're good. I think we've got enough for just in case. Ooh, gold. Spesh. I don't know how you guys like to do this, but I like to go around every single tree and I just leave the wood there, just as like a, I've done that one. And then I collect it all later. Or the next day, depending on how lazy I'm feeling. And we need more access. Aha! I think we got maybe more miles for trashing our tools. As suspected. Another one bites the dust. Let's get stung! Yes. Wait for the noise. didn't get miles. Maybe we get miles for using medicine. Ta-da! And she's better. And no miles! Are you kidding me? I allowed myself to be stung for naught. Oh, got no tree branches. Couldn't make another if I wanted to. What you do? I tell you what, it's warm today. I'm getting... Tired? The mute, can you tell? I got my eyes, my eyes are going. The music is making me tired. The action is making me tired. The heat is making me tired. I'm like, it's a tiring business. It's starting over an Animal Crossing. It is a lot of work. No one's helping me. Seems to just be me. I don't think everybody else has got these bills. I think it's just Tom Nook's like, Pull in a fast one. No one else talks about the bills they're having to pay. No one seems to be having to work to pay anything off. And then one day, they've just got houses. And then the new people that come, they just have houses straight away. And they never talk about money. They're like, how do I move there? Just call a guy. And then he, I've already done everything. I've already done all of the work to set you up. It's a swizz is what it is. I've been trying to look as well. Oh, I've got pansies. I've been trying to look out ahead, like up. What flowers have I got? Pansies. Not my favourite. It's not my favourite. But whatever. Right, I think I've got all the trees now. Let's see what miles we've now got unclaimed. Ooh. Two of this one. This could push us over the edge. 500. <gasps> I think we only need 50 more. We only need 50 more. Where are we going to get 50? What is it going to be? What is it going to be? Oh, we haven't spoken to our neighbours today. Where are they? Because I think that's a thing. Are they home? No. No, neither of them are home. Because they're not real houses. You don't hang out in your tent all day, do you? Okay, I haven't seen them much. 
but I haven't been looking. Oh, look at that thing. We've got to try and get that. That's not really the right direction, but it is in the water. Here we go. Will it get to that? Will it turn? No. No, it won't. No, it won't. Mm. It's an awkward one, this. Ooh. It's going to be big. Oh! Special! Blathers is going to like that one. Right. As we were looking for... Ooh! Look at you, look at you, look at you. Hey coach. That spot you found me for <laughs> spawned for me. Spawned for me. That spot you found for me. Ugh, wake up. It's just incredible. Thanks. I hope we can keep looking out for each other like this. No, honestly, coach, you are not gonna stay on this island. I apologize. I'll accept the gift. Well, it was always close. Um but thanks. I will accept the gift. I wonder if giving him a present... I'll probably get a present from the other one and then I could give e each of them their present back. Like, crisscrossed. And then maybe that's Miles. Gifting your neighbour. Yeah, but neither of those... Neither of my villagers are going to stay around. Nope. I think I'm gonna go, I would really, ideally, I want an all bear island. All bears. I actually don't know how many bears there are and I only want cute bears, so I will widen that. I'll broaden that net. Where is the other one? Is, is it because I think she's like, kind of blending in. I think she's kind of the color of the trees. So I'm struggling to find her. I'm gonna say that's what it is. Okay, is it just me? Are you all like, she's there? No, I don't think you are because I don't think she is. Um, oh, cat, 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 cat. She is kind of real similar to the colour of the trees. So I think she blends. And also, I don't think she's a she. I think she's a he. I'm just, it's a cat thing. I always think cats are girls. I always think dogs are boys. I've only had boy dogs. Um, thanks, cat. Appreciate it. Just not loving your vibe, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I'm going to broaden my net to just like cute eared things so it could be cats it could be dogs are dogs a thing on animal crossing i don't know uh but definitely bunnies are and like hamster things i might have a look tonight actually i've never really looked at all of the animals on animal crossing but i might have like i might make myself like a list of these are the people i'm really looking for and then i do have a couple of amiibo cards um let's oh i can't gift her anything it's too early on, isn't it? You can't gift. Right, what did she just give me? Oh, a leaf umbrella. Okay, cool. So... Hmm. Maybe I just need to, because I don't think I got anything for fishing. Maybe I need to fish a little more. I don't think I got any... I don't think I've got any miles for fishing. So maybe I need to just catch a few more fish and that'll be my 50. Oh, oh, oh! Island togetherness! That was for talking to the guys. And I didn't notice that we got a ping ping. And then we got trash fishing. Oh, and then we got Nook Phone Life. All at once. Like buses. Right. Hooray. We can pay off our bill. No longer be beholden to Timothy Nook for this insane 5,000 Nook miles. Tom, you'll never guess what. With that, your moving fees have been paid in full. This is a happy day for the both of us. Correct, correct. You're free and clear of debt. Living on a thriving, scenic island. What could be better? Oh, 
That wasn't actually a rhetorical question. Let me be more specific. How is this tent treating you? So, at this point, obviously nobody is doing this, but if you left this, because he's like offering me to extend a line of credit to improve it into a house. Wouldn't it be fantastic if you had a house instead of a tent? Yeah, of course, let's do that. But if you just said like, nah, I'll keep the tent, would everything else continue around you and you just keep a tent? Is that the situation? 98,000 bells. I feel like we can do that. We can do that. We can do that. Maybe we can do that tomorrow. No, it, I mean, maybe, but we're not like trying to zoom through this. It's not like the Christmas one. I don't have a deadline. I just kind of wanted to get on with things. Right, are we doing red, pink, yellow, or black? Mm, we're right next to the services. Not the services. Is it called? Resident services. What should we do? What should we do? A pink is too out there. It doesn't go at all. I have just planted red flowers, so I'm gonna say red. I'm gonna say red. Excellent. Right, so that's kind of it. We're gonna wrap up for today. I'm not necessarily gonna be posting these daily. In fact, I'm almost certainly not gonna be posting them daily, but I am going to be recording them in real time for this. So we're not gonna be kind of zooming here, there and everywhere, uh, but I'm probably gonna be spacing these out just because they take a little while to actually film and edit. And again, commitments of adulthood. But thank you so much for joining me for this very first, here we go again, foray into Animal Crossing. The beginning is just the best. It's the best, best, best. Um, and I love, I love a fresh start on all games, but Animal Crossing particularly is just premium. And I love watching people restart Animal Crossing. I know you guys probably do as well. Uh, so I'm gonna try and get as many videos in this little series as I can. And then I'm gonna keep this and we're going to work on the island over the coming years <laughs> we'll see uh eventually what i would like it to be is like a four seasons island so each quarter of the island is a season um and whatever that is is whatever that is we'll see but i kind of would like it to be still feel relatively natural but be still maybe it'll be separated by rivers i don't know i don't know i haven't thought too much about it yet I don't know about like neighbors, whether or not I'm gonna, ooh, tonight, I'm definitely gonna look into different animals because wouldn't it be fun if we had like wintry animals in the winter one, ones that were kind of spring, autumnal. Ooh, okay, ideas, ideas, too many ideas. We'll get into that in the next episode. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in that one. Bye. Bye.